okay okay so bernoulli's theorem is covered in open ended lab uh, part 2 so part 2 ni dia you can have macam i bagi tahu hari tu so you need to develop your own lab module and you need to do the lab report uh, so the marks will be higher uh, so uh, you need to understand so please listen to that puzzle video okay which i will give on friday okay so chapter 4 fluid dynamics so dynamic apa tu dynamic ha uh, bergerak so before this we have seen the static fluid so air yang tak bergerak so what what are the forces how is the pressure everything and fluid dynamic is fluid at movement so fluid that is moving okay so classification of fluid flow so you need to know few terms that we will use in the dynamic fluid okay ada ada beberapa term lah okay the first is viscous and inviscid region of flow apa tu viscous i think before this kita pernah dengar kelikatan okay so dalam dynamic fluid so there's a place where uh, you will have a very clear part uh, of movement uh, macam ni lah so kita tahu air ni dia bergerak in this particular direction so dia memang ada direction dia uh, it won't like uh, move so it's a clear so in this region we call as a viscous flow sebab pergerakan uh, air dia uh, uh, berdasarkan geseran ok so that's why we call as viscous so ada ada pergerakan and uh, ada geseran so water is moving at the particular direction so that's a clear part so the, another part we call as a inviscid ataupun non viscous ataupun frictionless flow region uh, macam ni lah uh, so yang situation ni kita boleh tengok dekat laut uh, nanti saya akan tunjuk dekat uh, you so this is the part where no friction so you just like tenang so nothing there so no additional force so dekat sini ada force dekat sini dia macam tak ada force dia macam tenang lah ok so that is what we call as a inviscid or non viscous region ok ah, RIP so rest in peace ah, so kalau you tak tahu berenang dia jadi RIP lah rest in peace ok so kita panggil dia ni bukan RIP current eh. so rip current so biasa tak tengok de yang ni dekat laut so kalau you biasa pergi laut lah ah, so you can see one region so there will be like a current current bukan bukan electricity so meaning is a movement movement of so kita panggil as water current so something that draws you okay draws you so in this case ah soalan ni pernah keluar dalam final exam so soalan yang not so thermo fluid tapi ditanya how you can escape rip current so macam mana you can explain so this case uh, you can see you tengah shock berenang so berenang 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 tengah tengok terkena dekat sini so what will happen the water will be drawn inside so you tak tahu berenang you berenang dekat tepi tiba-tiba kena dekat sini kena tarik pergi tengah-tengah so tengah-tengah dia dah lagi dalam dan jadi panik ha, jadi tenggelam jadi submarine Okay, so you become a submarine. Okay, so what? How you can escape uh, rip currents? So you berenang, you kena dekat kawasan ni, the viscous region. So just let the water allow you to draw you in. So jangan lawan. Kalau you lawan, what will happen? You jadi penat. So jadi penat dekat sini pun you tenggelam. Kawasan ni pun you tenggelam. Ha, so kalau you jadi penat. So, so what will happen? So you just let the water current to draw you in. After some time, current ni takkan jadi uh, jadi tinggi. Uh, tapi kalau this water current ni sampai tengah laut, uh, then you akan mati juga. Okay. Uh, so hopefully it's not until there lah. Okay, until the place where uh, you still can escape. So once the current become weak then baru you escape ke tepi so the either side you escape ke tepi then you berenang balik ha, kalau you tahu berenang lah 
So the moral of the story, whether you know or not, so you know swimming or not, uh, so try to escape this kind of situation. So pastikan before you go to one place, jangan tengok keseronokan saja. Okay, so make sure you know some skill, survival skill in case something happen. Okay, so this is a rip current. I pun tak tahu kenapa dia panggil RIP. So whether it have a significant rest in peace ke tak. Uh, tapi is something that you need to take into consideration. Okay, so don't fight. Don't fight with the water current. Uh, sebab itu selalunya kita encourage you flow with the, uh, that's, that's the term lah. Uh, flow with the flow. Okay, flow with the flow. Uh, so if you fight, you will become penat. Uh, when you become penat, then uh, you will, you the possibility of you to survive will be very less. Okay. So now, second term is compressible and incompressible is compressible and incompressible flow. Okay. So a flow is classified as incompressible if the density remain nearly constant. Uh, so kalau you tekan density dia sama. So we call it as a incompressible. In, incompressible maksudnya tak boleh compress. Okay. So liquid flows are uh, typically incompressible. Uh, so dalam cecair selalunya kita consider as incompressible. Kita tak boleh compress. Uh, sebab dia molecule dia dah almost padat. Uh, tapi gas can be compressible. Okay. Especially the high speed. Uh, so gas flow dalam kereta. Uh, pernah dengar tak? NOS. Ah, so selalu pan, ah, need for speed Okay, so need for speed So you Tiba-tiba you tekan Oh, you tengok meter Naik Okay, so normally uh, The so, continental cars akan ada lanos Okay So you tekan, dia tiba-tiba dia akan naik Dia akan naik dengan cepat So you you will see The water flow, uh, the air flow Will be very high Okay, will be very high Uh, so it it is used in the jet. So macam mana jet berfungsi? So that is how. So you are compressing and you are increasing the nose. Okay, nose dalam kereta is actually used in the fighter jet. Uh, so to give you the adre- adrenaline rush, to so shock. Uh, so when you are using nose, make sure your brake works. Uh, kalau you akan terbang terus Ok uh, So highway Changlun Changlun Kuala Polis boleh guna NOS Ok sebab tak ada bonggol Ok so I pernah reach 170, 180 Dekat sini lah uh, Tapi more than that tak tak boleh Sebab takut ada lubang so, Malaysian Malaysian roads are like that Kalau German road maybe ok Ok German road ada 5 line All lines are fast line semua semua lain pun semua kereta ter, uh, paling ujung 300 k- km kereta is moving. So pa- paling ujung 200. Tadi yang slow. Unless emergency line. Emergency line you park uh, kena saman. So pastikan kereta you rosak pun bergerak at 200. Uh. <laughs> okay so it's like that. Okay. Okay, so then uh, the th- eh, kenapa dia move? Ah? Okay, the third one is natural or unforced versus forced flow. Okay, natural fluid flow due to natural means. Ah, uh, yang ni adalah buoyancy effect. Okay, so that we consider as natural, something yang not created. Okay, not something. So buoyant force inside the water is natural. You tak perlu gunakan generator to generate the force. Okay, so uh, it is natural. The force is like fan. Nah, macam fan you tekan It will increase the flow ah, So fan dia pusing Dia akan tarik udara dari belakang So and it will move it fast Okay and pump, pump Water pump, air pump ah, Semua itu pun sama It will compress and it will displace So it will uh, We consider it as a, as a Force Force flow Okay ada internal flow Internal flow inside the water So ada pipe, dalam tu ada water is moving at the flow We consider it as an internal flow And external flow, aerodynamic uh, Macam ini, you boleh tengok ada bola 
So you can see the air is flowing at the sides. Dia tak menembusi. Ha, dia tak tembus. So kalau dia tembus, it is considered as internal flow. Kalau kat luar, at the body body of the car or what, so we consider as a external flow. Okay. So the flow of liquid in a duct is called open channel flow. If the duct is only partially filled with the liquid and there is a free surface. So you pernah tengok tak macam longkang? So longkang yang tertutup uh, Dia cuma ada one particular level Yang ada air It's not full uh, So if inside the uh, Pipe ataupun hose There's only partially filled Maksudnya separuh je air Separuh ada free open free surface So we consider it as a Open channel flow Okay so these are a few terms that you will use Okay then Laminar and turbulent flow Okay, laminar is highly ordered fluid motion with smooth streamline. Uh, so, ini adalah streamline. So, you boleh tengok. Streamline dia, you boleh tengok. Uh, it move from year to year or year from year. But, it's very clear. Uh, it's not like macam tengah-tengah dia hilang ke tak. So, uh, if uh, the Reynolds number is less than 2100, so we consider it as a laminar flow. So it can be 1,000, it can be 1,500. As long as less than 2,100, the Reynolds, dia ada satu meter lah yang kita gunakan untuk ukur whether it's laminar or turbulent. So it's highly ordered. Okay, macam ni. Number A. So turbulent. So turbulent is highly disordered. Ha, you tengok, macam ni. Ha, yang ni adalah turbulent lah. Ha, dia mula-mula dia start laminar, kemudian dia, dia pun... Jadi highly disoriented Because of the airflow uh, Keliling uh, If the Reynolds number is more than 4,000 So 5,000 or 6,000 uh, We consider it, it As a highly disorder or turbulent Okay Siapa biasa rokok? Okay Tak ada yang uh, Tak ada yang mengaku kan? Tak uh, ada Okay So kalau you rokok You tube Tube tu dia mula-mula laminar After some time You tengok asap tu dia akan macam hilang uh, That become turbulent Okay so I just bagi example lah bukan suruh you pergi test eh. uh, Okay so So that's uh, something that you can see in daily life Laminar and turbulent Transition So transition is between 2100 and 4000 If the Reynolds number is in between So maksudnya dia bukan laminar and bukan turbulent. Dia dalam proses nak ubah. Is eh? is transition. And Reynolds number, ah ini adalah formula dia. Rho VD over V. Uh, so V is the velocity. Okay, so this Reynolds number can be used to calculate whether it's a turbulent or laminar. Okay, so that's the fourth one. The fifth one is uniform flow Uh, or steady flow Okay, uniform flow If the flow velocity is the same magnitude and direction At every point in the fluid It is said to be uniform So katakan you ambil So this is a flow And you take a particular space Okay, you cuma uh, Kawasan warna biru ni je yang you take into consideration If the velocity at this point and this point uh, Is the same so, Katakan dekat sini 10 meter per second Dekat sini pun 10 meter per second And it is in the same um, magnitude and direction. Uh, then we consider it as a uniform flow. Okay, non-uniform. Uh, kalau it's not in the same magnitude and direction lah. Macam ni pun, they are not in the same direction. They macam focus. Uh, so we consider it as a non-uniform. And you have a steady. Kalau steady, compare dengan uniform, steady is over time. Uh, you ambil sedikit masa So tadi From one one distance to another distance Yang ini From one time to another time So in matter of 5 second So whether is uniform or not So that is what we call as steady uh, So waktu orang cakap Oh Orang ni adalah steady So over time dia tak change uh, Kalau over time dia change It's not steady lah Ha? Huh? Okay So you tahu lah what's the meaning of steady All the while we kita hanya guna So we don't know what is steady about So 
non steady is changing over time one time di cheka machani another time di cheka machani so that we call as not steady ha uh, ataupun bahasa kasar cheka tawaras <laughs> tawaras so meaning is uh, keep on changing so in practice there is always slight variation in velocity and pressure but if the average value are constant the flow is considered steady uh, so it's very hard to create something so 10 meter per second dekat sana pun 10 meter per second so maybe there's a slight variance uh, maybe dekat sini 10 meter per second dekat sini 9.9 uh, if the overall value are constant over time so we still consider it as steady okay so in practical lah okay so one two and three dimension flow flow so three dimensional flow maksudnya dia ada x y z Uh, maksudnya dia flow macam ni macam ni dengan macam ni so three direction so we consider as three dimensional flow so you, you have a, and uh, the last one is time lah so u x y z are the movement uh, the three dimensional and t is the time uh, so you, if you have uh, three things uh, three properties that you can measure Uh, so you consider it as a three dimensional flow so two dimensional any other two u and v that is w okay so it's only uh, macam 2d so x and y only and also the time uh, so that is two dimensional and one dimensional so is in a closed space uh, so closed space it only can move in one direction then we call it as a one dimensional flow so only in the direction of x so only at the satu so then we consider it as a one dimensional flow okay all these are some of the terms that we use in uh, fluid dynamics okay lagi satu adalah streamlines and stream tubes uh, benda ni biasa tengok uh, kalau you graphic designer ataupun uh, analyst okay analyst of flow uh, ada banyak software lah yang boleh ukur software yang selalunya you akan gunakan adalah SOLIDWORKS kalau tak tahu lah you, you all pernah guna ke tak? pernah? belum lagi? so I think uh, maybe you all akan guna nanti kebanyakan dalam FIP akan gunakan so it's, a, it's not animation software it's more like design software uh, ada CAD kan? CAD? CAD? CAD guna apa? AutoCAD AutoCAD uh, maybe the latest version adalah Zaman saya punya tak ada Zaman saya punya macam lukisan kejuruteran je Dia punya software So it's almost like that Tapi I think the latest one AutoCAD sekarang guna version apa? 2021 ah, 2021, 2022 So you all akan gunakan dalam FIP ah, So maybe that uh, AutoCAD the latest one But but I know during my time it's a SOLIDWORKS already can do this Tapi sekarang must be more advanced Uh, kalau you buat uh, ada kawan-kawan yang ambil kejuruteran pembuatan okay, manufacturing so they always will use this software like Katia ada, ada software yang nama dia Katia uh, ataupun SOLIDWORKS uh, so you can design, you can see if you apply a flow uh, so how the flow direction will be uh, so macam kereta ni tengok ada ada udara So, udara akan melalui the body of the car so if the car is aerodynamic uh, then the flow will be smooth uh, kereta you takkan slow down uh, sebab your when your car is moving so udara bertentangan dia akan uh, force dia akan bergerak uh, at the opposite direction which will slow down your car if the car is aerodynamic So the air flow will pass by your body the car body so the rintangan tu akan kurang okey so in, you as an engineer maybe nanti you you ada peluang untuk kerja dekat proton pro2 if local company if overseas company you continental company like mers ataupun bmw or audi uh, volkswagen uh, so ada 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 ramai uh, senior yang dah habis degree lah so normally after diploma you will master degree so after that they they work in a continental companies continental car companies 
So buat benda ni So they do analysis So you do analysis ha. So ni ada satu software Nascar So Nascar is one of the Of the software Okay so streamlines What is streamlines? The flow pattern ha. Yang you boleh tengok Macam macam garis dekat sini So that is what we call as a streamlines Okay dekat sini pun boleh nampak Ha So whatever things that is moving and is opposing the airflow uh, Kita selalunya akan buat uh, this velocity contour uh, Velocity contour adalah ni lah So lagi banyak uh, streamline lagi rapat Dia akan jadi uh, warna merah So kalau dia jadi jarang Dia jadi warna biru uh, Dia ada color dia So that we call as a velocity contours Okay so So uh, So very close to the boundary walls The flow direction must be parallel to the boundary ha, Dia akan rapat As much as possible dia akan cuba rapatkan Dengan body of the car Okay so Close to a solid boundary streamline uh, Parallel to the boundary uh, Okay so So position of streamlines can change with time uh, Yang ni macam tadi lah Unsteady flow Uh, in in steady flow the position of streamline does not change okay and fluid cannot cross cross the streamline maksudnya kalau uh, kalau dia streamline dia dia katakan ada 1 2 3 4 and 5 so streamline 1 dia takkan cross dengan streamline 2 so dari starting until the end streamline apa particle yang ada dekat streamline 1 dia akan kekal dekat streamline 1 dia takkan ubah Ha, kalau uh, uh, kalau yang tu adalah steady flow lah ha, Kalau unsteady flow Maybe there is a possibility Of it to change ha, Kalau dia change tu Calculation dia pun akan berubah So streamlines does not cross each other If they were to cross They will be indicate two different velocity So velocity akan berubah Then dia akan cross Okay So we will take point by point So Point 1 to point point 2 So yang ni velocity dia yang ni So then we we ukur for that particular place Then kita tambah dengan the second one uh, So that's how you can do So at the same point uh, This is not physically possible uh, Physically it's not really possible uh, So selalunya dia akan uh, Will not cross So one streamline will stay On the same streamline throughout the fluid That is starting until the end The particular will be at the same spot, same streamline. Okay, so another term kita panggil as stream tube. Ah, uh, so boleh tengok. So this is a area. So dia start dekat sini and dia keluar dekat sini. And you have a few streamline, and you know that the streamline will not cross each other. Ah, uh, so yang paling ujung adalah dia dia akan Uh, walaupun yang ini adalah imaginary So it's not uh, something that really physical Tapi kita tahu yang ujung ni Dia akan jadi macam satu layer So it will form as a tube uh, This is based on our imaginary lah uh, Dia akan uh, form like a tube So dia ada free, uh, space dekat sini And at, uh, at its own uh, boundary uh, So kita panggil yang ini adalah uh, as a stream tube dia macam sebab dia bentuk dia macam tube This is not a physical tube Okay since no fluid come in and goes out Through the stream tube wall The fluid is regarded to be similar To fluid flowing in a solid tube ha, Yang ni uh, Tapi yang ni is just for your understanding So kita tak ada any application Yang kaitan dengan yang ni lah Okay so if you take a two dimensional flow So yang ni adalah three dimensional So kalau you lukis two dimensional of that So you akan dapat macam ni So you start starting point Ending point And you have Dekat sini ada berapa streamline Dekat sini ada berapa streamline Three, four, five Siapa cakap tiga Tiga Empat Empat macam mana eh? empat From one One, two, three, four, five Which one? So, siapa cakap lima? Ha? 
So yang ujung ini pun must take into consideration. So maksudnya 1 2 3 4 5. So ada 5 streamline. Okey, so it's not 3, bukan ambil yang tengah-tengah ni. Sebab dekat sini dia cakap yang ujung ni pun streamline. So yang ujung ni pun you take as a streamline in your stream tube. Okey, so stream tube is not a pipe. Yang ni sebab dia bukan bukan reality. So it's only for our calculation. Okay, so it differs in unsteady flow as the wall move with time. So unsteady flow dia uh, starting dengan ending yang ni dia akan jadi besar lah. So it don't create a steady flow. Okay, so one more case. Uh, no slip condition. So this is a, a natural condition. Yang daily life pun dia happen. But maybe kita tak realise. Okay, so if you have a plate, so this is a solid surface, and you have a fluid moving, so yang yang bersentuhan dengan uh, permukaan ni, dia macam tak bergerak. Uh, so because of friction, because there's a physical friction available here, so dekat atas maybe dia move according to the flow. Tapi yang dekat bawah ni, it create a zero velocity because of friction. Uh, so yang ni yang kita panggil as non, no slip condition so I tak explain yang wording ni lah I just explain in bahasa kasar ok so this condition is happening because of friction uh, because friction at the surface ok so we call it as a no slip condition bukan slip lah slip tak tergelinci uh, so it's not moving so in real life kalau you tengok oh, dia ada macam ni so, the side uh, it stick to the surface ok ok so all these are not so important ok so in heat transfer when two bodies at different temperature are brought into contact heat transfer occurs such that both bodies assume the same temperature at the point of contact so dalam kes ni so katakan dekat plate uh, this plate is 70 degrees dekat point yang dekat flow ni pun 70 degrees maybe dekat atas maybe 25 tetapi the point at where the contact happens so it will be the same temperature point so that's what uh, this thing uh, is saying lah so in that, that case uh, we call that phenomenon as no temperature jump condition uh, ini ada satu nama lah uh, tak pernah keluar dalam exam so it's ok so it's just for your understanding ok so fluid flow rate so ada 3 jenis flow rate uh, yang you akan gunakan untuk calculation ok the first one is volume flow rate ok volume of fluid uh, pass a section ok or uh, an area per unit time uh, so kalau yang dekat sini perasan ada dot V dot kalau ada dot Itu adalah flow rate. Maksudnya dia berkait, uh, berkaitan dengan masa. For one particular time. So kalau ada dot ni, you need to understand. So that one is related to time. Over time. Okay. So you boleh tengok. So average of the volume moving in a tube over time. Okay. In in a in a area A. Okay. So the formula is uh, V dot. Uh, I panggil V dot lah V dot equals to Q Equals to AV uh, So formula yang selalu kita akan gunakan Adalah Q equals to AV Ok we will see few example later And then you have a mass flow rate So M dot M kecil dot So the formula is PQ So Q dari tadi uh, So Q adalah AV So you dapat dua formula P, Q ataupun, uh, sorry P pula, rho. So density. Uh, density times with Q or density times with AV. Uh, so these are the two. So you boleh highlight lah dalam your notes. So you highlight. Uh, so these are the formulas that you will use for your calculation. And you have a weight flow rate. Ya ni jarang kita guna. Okay jarang. So weight of the fluid pass uh, section per unit time. So G equals to gamma G. But gamma Q So gamma is the specific weight 
okay this you can con take into consideration uh, if uh, the gamma value is given the specific weight is given tapi jarang lah ada soalan yang berkaitan selalunya number 1 and number 2 volume flow rate and mass flow rate ok so ok this thing is very important conservation of mass ataupun continuity equation so which will be related to your Bernoulli's theorem uh, yang you akan gunakan dalam your uh, experiment number 2 open ended ok conservation of mass or continuity equation dua-dua pun referring to the same thing so matters cannot be created or destroyed in a chemical or physical so it simply change with different form of matter ok so to simply say uh, so you are the satu control volume so volume to you control so mass entering so mass can be as any fluid ok it's entering and leaving must be same so katakan dekat sini uh, masuk 10 kg keluar pun 10 kg uh, so that if you control the volume Okay, that is what we call as a conservation of mass. Okay, so mass entering per unit volume, uh, per unit time, equals to mass leaving per unit time. Okay, so it can be applied in the stream tube. So the mass enters and leaves through two ends of the stream, stream tube. So you need to analysis. Uh, stream tube. So the Cassini, you are the density one, uh, U1, uh, velocity 1 and area 1 so you take 2 points point 1 and point 2 so the dekat sini pun ada uh, so you, based on the conservation of mass you dapat formula ni rho 1, A1, U1 equals to rho 2, A2, U2 equals to constant uh, so based on this you boleh buat calculation ok so if it is incompressible, the density won't change, then your equation jadi macam ni. A1, U1 equals to A2, U2 equals to Q. Okay, so we'll try this example. So try this example, example 1. So if the area 1, okay, so area 1 so apply to this formula so a1 v1 uh, equals to a2 uh, u ataupun v lah sama velocity equals to q so if the area 1 equals to 10 to power of uh, 10 times 10 to power of negative 3 and a2 a1 and a2 is given so we we know that uh, from uh, formula ni so kita dapat a1 v1 equals to a2 v2 uh, so you just substitute the value so downstream maksudnya v2 so uh, the fluid will flow from uh, upstream to downstream so downstream mean velocity maksudnya uh, ni buka velocity ya yeah. so spelling mistake so you just ganti dalam ni so you rearrange the formula and you replace the value so you boleh cari v2 v2 is 7 meter per second so meaning is starting 2.1 meter per second and the ending is 7.0 so now try uh, this on a diffuser pipe which expand or diverge as in the figure so this is uh, one uh, one application yang kita gunakan dalam uh, dalam uh, thermal fluid so we call as a diffuser diffuser selalunya dekat bagian start dia kecil area dia kecil and here is bigger uh, so when you have a differences so there will be change in rho v and also uh, area uh, so you try to find so i think boleh habis lah ini so no need I, I don't need to finish i don't need to do another video okay so example 2 you can see referring to this so you have the dual section section 1 and section 2 so at section 1 the d diameter is 30 millimeter and at section 2 the diameter is 40 so increase ke decrease increase by 10 so d1 is 10 at 30 here 40 
a mean velocity at section 2 is V2, 3, uh, this row chari V1. Uh, so, tadi kita gunakan formula ni. V1 equals to A2 over A1, V2. Uh, it also, the area can be expanded for a circle, a pipe is a circular pipe. Selalunya pipe, kalau pipe kita refer as the area as a uh, bullet. Okay, so circle. So circle uh, area dia adalah pi r square ataupun pi d square over 4. Uh, either one lah. Either you nak divide this by 2, then you nak gunakan pi r square ataupun nak, you nak gunakan diameter, so pi d square over 4. Uh, so you boleh gunakan formula ni, uh, then you ringkaskan, you dapat yang ni. Uh, d2 square over d1 square uh, times d2. Uh, ataupun you boleh gunakan macam ni So all these are referring to the same thing So in this case we, I gunakan formula ni So D2 over D1 Square Kali dengan V2 So you replace here So you can get that V1 here is 5.3 meter per second Okay So I think it's easier to understand When you see the example Okay, so another example of the use is uh, of the continuity principle is to determine the velocity in pipe coming uh, from a junction. Uh, this is another situation. So, kita tahu mass entering and mass leaving will be the same. Okay, in the continuity equation. So, maksudnya katakan dekat sini masuk 10. So, dekat sini dia keluar 2. So, here what is the value? 8. So, because dekat sini masuk 10, so 10 minus 2, here will be 8. So, it will be the same. Okay, because it's in the same pipe. And dia tak boleh lari mana-mana. So, it must be in the same thing. Uh, so, the total mass flow into the junction is total mass flow out of the junction. So, that is what we call as a continuity equation. So, dalam case ni, row 1 Q1 equals to row 2 Q2 plus row 2, row 3, Q3. Uh, kalau ada more junction, you tambahlah ke belakang. Uh, ataupun dekat sini ada more junction, you tambah dekat depan. Okay. So, based on this, uh, since the flow is incompressible, so let's say it's a water, so then density will be the same. So, you cancel all. So, you dapat uh, Q1 equals to Q2 plus Q3. Uh, so, formula dia adalah A and E lah. Okay, so based on that, now you do this. Uh, answer I tak bagi lah. Uh, answer I dah bagi. So, dekat sini ada berapa in, berapa out. Tiga in, dua out. Okay, so maksudnya ada tiga in kan? So condition dia macam ni. So it's entering. This is going up. So dekat sini berapa? So, uh, U1 equals to 1.5 meter per second. So, area is 0.5 to square. So, I think all this value you boleh dapat lah. But the condition is like this. Okay, so tiga masuk, dua keluar. Okay, so boleh calculate tak? Based on apa yang dekat sana. 
So what is the value of Q? Value of Q memang dah bagi lah Tapi boleh tak you cari Until you dapat 1.61 So you just need to use the same formula. Ha, macam dekat sini dia, dia dah bagi dah Q. You tak perlu kira dah. So you just need to use uh, find Q1 berapa, Q2 berapa, uh, Q3 berapa, Q4 and Q5. Uh, Q4 dah bagi 2.4. So the value of entering and exiting must be the same. Okay, so based on this, so you boleh dapat lah. So I think uh, 1.61 So yang ni adalah 2.6 So it's a uh, 4 something lah the total Yang masuk Okay Dapat Saya so I, I hope boleh dapat lah Okay, so kalau uh, you cuba cari, so answer dah diberi, so you try to find until you get this answer. Okay, so I go to example 4. Okay, similar thing. Okay, a pipe is split into two pipes where, which are B, C. So, so A, so ada satu junction, ini adalah junction. So, B, C and B, D. So, the dimension of the pipe is given. So, the diameter, sorry, diameter. So diameter B A B is uh, you can see is uh, dia bukan steam size. Uh, a uh, area at A and area at B is not the same. Dia macam corong. So, uh, it's like a, uh, it's like a mengecil lah. Okay. So here, here is 0 0.45. Here the diameter is 0 0.3. So B C is 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.15. So calculate the flow rate, volume flow rate Q so Q equals to AV uh, so try to find and velocity as section B and section D if velo velocity as section D is 4.4 meters uh, so any other uh, so it's very direct uh, because it's, uh, it's bullet uh, so you just use the formula for diameter so pi D square over 4 Okay, so you dapat uh, 0.318 meter cube per second and for this so a, uh, QA equals to QB the volume will be the same lah. volume will not, the cha uh, will not change uh, because it's a continuity equation so based on this you will dapat volume at section B is uh, 4.5 uh, but the solan did suro chari section D juga. So try to find for section D. So it's not given here. Okay, so ada solan? Ada solan? So far? So far boleh faham? Okay, so uh, end of chapter 4 part 1. So if you have question, you can always WhatsApp. Okay, if a general question, try the... I try us in the class group uh, so that I will explain one shot okay I uh, will off thank you